Hey everyone, welcome back to Racky Guys. Today we're going to be comparing the Babolat Pure Drive to the Babolat Pure Aero. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to keep on top of all future Racky Guys content. Let's get going. One of the most common questions we get asked when helping a customer pick out a new racket is what is the difference between the Pure Aero and the Pure Drive? They both weigh the same, 300 grams, have the same head size, 100 square inches, and as well, they have the same strong balance of four points head light. So they should swing and feel fairly similar, right? Not so much. While the listed specs are very similar, there are some key differences in how the tech is applied in each of the frames that make them feel and play very different from one another. The first major difference is the shape of the frame. The Pure Arrow has what Babolat calls the Arrow Modular frame shape. It's a more aerodynamic frame shape designed to optimize the head speed and to help you generate more spin. The Pure Drive, on the other hand, has an elliptic frame shape for optimal resistance and a little extra rigidity for maximum power. Another major difference is the actual makeup of the frames. Both the Pure Arrow and Pure Drive have a trio of similar technologies, but they are applied differently and they lead to a very different playing frame. The Pure Arrow has Babolat's carbon ply stabilizer for more control, Cortex Pure Feel for vibration dampening and FSI spin, which is a string pattern with oblong grommets at six and nine for some increased string movement and more spin. The Pure Drive, on the other hand, has HCR system for more torsional stability, SWX Pure Feel for vibration dampening and FSI power, which is actually a diamond shaped grommet design and a optimized, slightly more open 16 by 19 string pattern. From the back of the court, I found that it was pretty easy to generate a lot of topspin with both the Pure Arrow and the Pure Drive. But with the Pure Arrow, with the frame geometry, I found it just kind of promoted a more low to high swing pattern. Gave me a little bit of extra topspin. Uh, also gave me a little bit of a higher launch angle. So I was hitting a much safer ball. But with the Pure Drive, I found I was able to hit a more piercing flight, with a little bit of easier depth. But on the downside, that ball was a little bit more unsafe, a little lower, closer to the net. And to be honest, I found I was also missing a few of them along. Uh, so from the baseline, I think the Pure is a little safer, Pure Drive a little more powerful. At net, they were very similar. Both were really easy, really stable at the net. But I found that Pure Arrow, I'm not quite sure what it was, but it just felt like it was a little more controlled. I didn't miss nearly as many volleys with the Pure Arrow, whether they were a tough volley, easy volley, didn't really matter. The, it was just easy to hit a volley with both, but the Pure Arrow was a little bit nicer. Uh, on serve though, that's where I really liked the Pure Drive a lot more. Uh, I found I could both hit my kick serve really easily, but also really easily hit my flat serve as compared to the Pure Arrow where I really only was finding my kick serve. I was really struggling to hit a flatter ball there. Um, overall though, they played really nicely. Uh, I think if you're looking for something a little more safer, a little more spin generation, you're definitely looking at the Pure Arrow. Whereas if you want to be maybe a little more aggressive, Pure Drive's your racket. On this comparison video, I tried the Babolat Pure Arrow and the Pure Drive. Even with these frames coming from the same brand, I found them quite both different. When hitting with the Pure Drive, this frame offered me softer feeling string bed upon contact and much added power, while the Pure Arrow offered slightly stiffer feel and a lot more control and spin. This I did find quite interesting because the Pure Drive has a much higher stiffness rating of 71 than the Pure Arrow at 67. When it came to ground strokes, the Pure Drive offered slightly more plow through than the Arrow, allowing for a deeper, more penetrating ball, while the Arrow, while still offering great plow through, gave me slightly higher launch angle, which allowed for more high rising balls over the baseline. When it came to serving, each frame was quite different. I found myself that when I was looking for more pace in my flat serves, I would gravitate towards the Pure Drive, and when I was looking for a little bit more net clearance and kick on my serves, the arrow was the way to go. There wasn't much of an adjustment time between these two frames when it came to ground strokes and serves, but I did find myself leaning towards the Babolat Pure Arrow more often, being a frame that rewards players with quick racket head speed who like to play with lots of spin. And for those reasons, I would have to go with the Babolat Pure Arrow over the Pure Drive. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about either the Pure Drive or the Pure Arrow, or you have some other frames that you want us to take a look at, let us know in the comments below. As always, the Pure Arrow and Pure Drive are available online at RackyGuys.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.